Hey guys. So my name is Yukai. I'm talking about how we talk about using a map to generate energy, but AR energy using stable diffusion, which is an open source AI R model. I have and my side is like 100 slides long, so uh, yeah, so it's not to watch a movie from this. Okay, about me, you have, I have my own, I know, currently in Nepal, because our company is in Nepal. I've been doing that, I was in the finance industry for five years, in the DeFi industry, okay, for a year, and, and I'm doing that stuff. But I, I'm also still in DeFi. This is my set, okay, just look at this. This is my. I was actually picture, which I purchased in 2021. But it's still, so it's still, so it's amazing. This is my first AI art, which I, I just got in my, my previous AI robot picture in Italy. And this came out, the first AI ever in AI art. It was amazing. But that's what got me into AI art. So, yeah, so it's a new phase. It's a left one. I don't need to screen background, I suppose, ignoring the world's noise like that. Okay. Uh, I had this debate with uh, our CTO about whether this is a copyright infringement. We do not have any other outcome from that. So, so yeah. But this got me into AI art. I, I, got, I did some other stuff, like this one. Uh, our CTO went over there, actually. Uh, it was his birthday, and I made an NFT with AI art as the image to give away to people as budgets. So that was a, a true utility for AI because for someone like me, drawing a, a, a painting from scratch is impossible. Okay, even if it happens, it's just, it's, 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 so I was just AI to do it. I mean, this is another one. For an, another friend, she looks exactly like this. And I made, I made an art for her. She, that's it. Yeah, she bought me. Yeah, so, so you see uh, a lot of prompt engineering has been, uh, has been going on. This is this is not just some, some uh, you feed in the thing and then and it generates it. You have to, I, I made uh, at least 100 trucks that I did. The perfect one. She looks exactly like this with uh, a black t-shirt, blue jeans, black hair, her eyes are this big. She holds the camera out in front of this, whatever background it is, air art. So that was uh, when I got in air early. Uh, very, very chaotic. No one knows what's going on. But yeah, so I got some good, uh, good outcomes from it. Oh, this is using Catonic mod as well. So, in stable diffusion, uh, Stability AI trained this thing called Stable Diffusion uh, 2, right? Uh, but it's open source, so anyone can just take the model and fine tune it into any style they want. So, this path of next model is just someone taking the, the model and just make it everything look like anime. Uh, it, it, this is also open source. This is amazing. That's why I prefer Stable Diffusion over. Journey or Dali. So this entire presentation will accept the first one. Everything else will be stable with diffusion for its fine-tuned versions or its port. Okay. Oh, and then, and then uh, I was thinking, hey, hey, what if I don't put any box? What will happen? And this was something that happened. Uh, no prompt, no title, nothing. Just using the Python mix model. And I got this girl. I like to know her, but uh, yeah, I had Yet. Yeah, so this is where I got the idea of using all these, these amazing tools to generate NFTs. Now, so I started this NFT series called the Girls on Tan. So Tan is a blockchain developed by Telegram, and they have NFTs on it. And it is a new blockchain, it's amazing on Telegram, so I, I was using it to do stuff. Okay, so this is the, uh, the concept art for this, the new entire series. I started it in January this year. So in January, uh, I, I started using the idea of you keep using AI to make uh, calendars. So this is the January calendar. It's a, a Chinese New Year thing. This is the bunny year of the Chinese calendar. So everything is a bunny. Now, because the Telegram uh, mascot is a, is a yellow dot, so I put yellow dots in a big thing. So and it goes along because it's better like it's yellow, right? And uh, wearing yellow stuff. So yeah. You get the idea. So it's a Chinese New Year themed NFT. Uh, and these are the prompts. Okay. I'm using anything to keep a Pokemon hybrid model. This is a model for anime style with, uh, stuff, but not, not pastel, but more like uh, pencil anime. Okay. And I'll just keep going through these. This is another one. Oh, this is amazing. You see the sleeves and the shirts? 
But this is also another cool, cool thing about AR. Uh, it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. It, it makes sense in a different way uh, than how humans make sense out of things. Oh my god, this is that? Okay. So, so another one, you can see a lot of dogs and bunnies. The, the words, the Chinese characters are not real Chinese characters because AI cannot, at that time, AI cannot write, not even English. But now Mid Journey can do it, and Stable Division, the new, the new version, can do it. Okay, that's time. Okay, so the fourth one, I like this one. I like this one. Oh, okay, same thing. Same thing, but better. This one is my own favorite. Okay, February. So Valentine's. So you can see uh, some improvements in the art already. See the hands. Not everyone can do hands like this. Okay. Okay. Say so also AI art. The hand, hands are the most difficult thing in AI art. Just so you guys know. Okay. Uh, so Valentine's in the classroom. You get the idea. You get the idea. Ducks on on uh, on tables. Doesn't make sense, but makes sense. All right. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make any sense. But it looks that as if it makes sense at the first glance, but you just look into the details, they don't make sense at all. For example, what is this thing? I don't. Know. Okay. Look at the fingers. Oh my god, amazing! Just just look at them. This is extremely rare. It took me like twenty five years to get it. Okay. March. Going to back into the pastel mix uh, model. This is a Kura. Just showing you guys. So, uh, very long legs, a uh, nice dot floating in here, a uh, nice posture. Uh, I like it. Uh, this dot is uh, ginormous. Uh, Easter, April. Right, Easter, so ducks and eggs. We back to bunnies again. Nice, nice dot. Okay, I'll just go through these because they're the same thing. But you, you can see the evolve, uh, like the evolution of the font. It gets simpler, okay, not, not more complex. Nice, nice spatial expression. I like this one. Okay, now, no, this is a hack. I call, I call it a hack. If you put in this, this string into the prompt, you don't use any English word, but you just use this string into this model or some other model, it will usually generate a girl with open mouth looking surprised. So why does this prompt generate a girl that looks surprised? I don't know, no one knows. It's a hack. Okay, some other examples. This one's not surprising. This is the same prompt, but it doesn't see. She looks as if she didn't pain. Okay. Two girls looking at each other, mouth open. I don't know what this is, but this reminds me of a friend of mine. The same prompt. All the same prompts, just different see. This very I don't know what she's doing, but she's She's looking back into her life and thinking about the mistakes she's made. Okay, this one has bare, bare ears. I don't know why, but again, hold on. Okay, now back to pastel mix, another model, but the same prompt. And you'll see even weirder facial expressions. Weird facial expressions with, with this, this uh, light thing, like me. This is the issue of which I know. This is the weirdest. And they, they usually have long, slender necks if you use this prompt. Um, even weird expression, she has horns or something like that. This thing here looks like a ghost. And uh, her face is almost gone. Okay, a different experiment. I just put my eyes into the eye, into the uh, inner prompt. And then also generate an even weirder facial expression. But I don't have time for that. But it's weird. But I like the color of this one. You can see the, the, the sunlight on her face and how her eyes are so even in the light. Yeah, the very cool. The very cool stuff. Okay, now I can push some other stuff. So these, these, is, these are also, also some experimental uh, images. So this is a, the prompt is called Pink Village. And it generates four pink villages. And I like this one because this is a girl. Okay, silent village. Very amazing art. I like them. Okay, yellow village. It's always nighttime. Come on, I don't know. Okay, oh no, oh, no. so I made this thing into a Telegram web. It's like uh, it's like mid journey. You can you can click reimagine variant of scale, and it does exactly 
know the meaning of studies in Telegram. And I have time to go through the code, but uh, you get the idea. So this is all generated from the Telegram one. Uh, I mean, the Telegram box. So the title is horror. Oh, oh, by the way, I'm now using GPT, GPT to generate a prompt. And it's the backhand. So I just type in horror, uh, a keyword, and then it will generate a prompt for it. I don't even know the prompt for this myself. I'm going to capture it from now on. That's that. Oh, and GPT, GPT will write a caption for the image for you. The long term user also, Nightfall, Shadow, Scroll, Longer, Horrors with it, amazing. Okay, this all ends with Just look at the arcs at a time. Okay, this one's called Swamp. It's green. This one's called Wow. Wow. That's the type of Wow. And it varies this. I don't know why, because it's GPT. Okay, uh, Tarot. Uh, her face, the CEO. Look at her face. And what are these red things under her dress? I'm still questioning that. Uh, this is called Monster. There's a monster behind her, her inner monster. This is called Storm. And uh, you can see the entire image is more scrolly because there's more scroll in the, in the prompt. Uh, this one is called Postmodernism. It's very postmodernistic. Now, now I'm actually choosing the original step of the QMB 2.1. So it's not even more RT, it's not it's not pastel or anything style, it's just bread and art style. Like a spaceship. Yesterday there is a sun beneath a hill, like above another hill. What's going on? Right? This one's so sorry. I like to try to do the same prompts again and again. Even though it's not because it's a, it's a tiger, I think. It looks like a pink hacker. A pink hacker generates a brilliant hat in a yoga of flowers. Okay, turquoise village. Trying to do this. This one, I like the, the keyword demon dog. Okay, this one called Cyan. Very colorful stuff. This one called Chugos. I cannot come up with this from my friend does. Uh, Rogue Robot. I like this art. Deep Sea Creature. This looks like some HRG art. Okay. Yeah. This one's called Magic. Because it, uh, it's, it's the caption that determines what the idea in and you will draw. Fragile. Amazing art. This one my favorite. This is a uh, a, a Gustav uh, Klimt style, but with a anime face. Uh, jazz. It reminds me of famous jazz painting. I forgot the uh, the original painter, but it, this is similar style. Okay, Plus Ocean. A lot of people like this one. I don't know why. Screens. Very very neon stuff. Okay, nice car. I like one. This one's pretty good. I don't have time to explain the details of it, but I remember the process of every single one that's amazing. This is a kind of three legs. Part three. And it looks like a mouse. Okay. Mechanical angel, amazing art. Space jellyfish, amazing. Alien art. It's not uh, symmetrical from the center, but slightly tilted. I like it. And, you know, nice. This is some Henry Matisse like art style. Oh, yeah, so Elon Musk did yesterday that turning AI design fashion into real clothing would be great. And that's what we're doing right now. So we're not just doing it on, on Telegram now. We're actually building a web service, printing all art on t shirts. Okay, so it is a AI design fashion real clothing service. So no time for that. But this is the prototype of our website. We're going to launch it within around a week. So we're aiming for more simplistic art to print on t shirts and tote bags. Uh, this go back is amazing. I want, I want our art to be on this thing. But it's good already, but uh, yeah, so we have that, uh, that representation. Right, so simplistic and, and these can be removed, uh, that can be removed. So if you get someone don't like square images. All right, mom does just grab the pumps, go to the moon. Love moon. So simplistic art from now on. I do not like this one, a lot of people like this one. It's, designed, oh, it's very similar to this one, if you think about it. Okay, it's neon jellyfish, a non neon jellyfish. Right there, a lot of people like this one. Swing bird. Demon dog again. Uh, all generate. I didn't do any from engineering from now on. Rainbow dog. This is, this is the last one I made uh, two days ago. Okay. Okay, and this one, the problem is one called Team Hacker, just letting you guys know. Okay, so any questions? Any questions? Uh, the tag behind it is Stable Diffusion. 
it's an open, it's an, the open source air model. No, no, the uh, Twitch like, like, must seem like using like Uh, the, it's, it's a Shopify, it's a Shopify store. Oh, sure. It's a Shopify store that's connected to Stable Diffusion. React is the... Oh, yes, using React to connect to the... Uh, to connect to the yes, React. Shopify, React, I, React, React. Yeah, but it's, it's part of my Shopify. Yeah, because yeah. 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 using Shopify, that here is using React. Yes, that's right. That's like I was in favor of Shopify. Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay, and yeah, anything else? Yeah, just a quick question. Uh, so you had mentioned about the, uh, the code, the code one. Uh, is that yeah. available on your GitHub by chance? Uh, I, I have an open source, but I can open source it because uh, it's open source. So, so on the event announcement, there's your GitHub, that link your GitHub from Alpha, and anyone can just take it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll publish it. Yeah, I'll publish it. Sure, sure. Thank you. So, any more questions? What's that on your desk? Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's legal, so we talk about it. Okay. Sorry. Any other questions?